heat on to get those started. I'm going to go ahead and get this green pepper ready. It's ginormous green pepper I bought. It's ginormously ginormous. Gigunda pepper. Let's get our seeds out of there. I'm going to go ahead and cut this up into little bitsy pieces. What? No. I don't need it. I need it. Get me. We throw that in here with the onions. It recommends a fourth cup onion. Or onion cheese. Green uh, green pepper. But I am going to go ahead and just cut the whole one because I'm making like twice the recipe. And I like myself some green peppers. And all time. Oh, I should be throwing the meat in here too. Once we throw the meat in, so I'll throw the meat in. Flop. I'm doing two pounds instead of one pound like it normally calls for. If you're making for just for like you and one other person or for a small family, go ahead and go with one pound and only a quarter cup of uh, green peppers. But me, always cooking for a giant army that is my family. I'm going to always double everything because I feel like that. Phone's going crazy. How my phone stopped going crazy. So how many of you miss miss having sloppy joes? I know I haven't had sloppy joes in forever. I made sloppy sloppy tofu before for my kids. My kids, my one daughter doesn't like eating certain meats. She should probably throw hissy fit about the sandwich. But it's not the same as having a good old sloppy joe. I'm gonna decide to name it Sloppy Joe, not like Sloppy Jim or Sloppy Betsy, since it's beef and Betsy's a cow's name. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird like that. Hopefully, you guys can hear me fine. Hopefully, I'm not making too much noise over here and breaking your eardrums. Get in there. Get in there, big old pieces of green pepper. Little pieces of green pepper for chumps. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Get some of the brown chopped, the beef chopped up so I can start browning it. Look at that. Look at that meat all, meat all chopped up. They start getting cookified. I'm gonna get my own words. Cookified is totally a word in my dictionary. Generator! What up, girl? How did the dinosaur hunting go yesterday? Did you finally get that, that T-Rex that you caught on fire and that chased you up the mountain somehow? Snail? <laughs> snail? You're looking for a snail? I don't know, I was watching you get to fight that T-Rex and it was chasing you up the mountain. We were trying to figure out how to you got the mountain. Then I got disconnected from my Twitch being weird and I reconnected. I was having issues, so I just stopped. I was like, okay, I'm done. Alright. Let that cookify some more. They wait until the, the beef browns. Oh, man. So, when's the last time any of you guys had sloppy joes? I know for me, since I had a legit Sloppy Joe, it's been a long, long time. I've had the things they called Sloppy Joes on the ship when I was in the Navy. They were right. And I made Sloppy Tofu for my kids because my one daughter doesn't like eating beef. So it was the first time I had Sloppy Joes in a while. A year? That's far too long, Jenna.
way too long. I mean, your mom's version told me, yeah. Remember you saying about that? This isn't, this isn't my mom's version. That's a version I've had. I think, pretty much the thing is the same, just I didn't, she didn't have the, she didn't put the green peppers in there. Or if she did, she chopped them really, really tiny. Dragon blood! Alright, man, don't get in trouble at school. I don't need you being like, Goof Dad made me do it. It's not the kind of publicity I need. I guess any publicity is good publicity, huh? And since Saturday is my youngest daughter's birthday, I let her choose a recipe. I'm going to make it Friday because Saturday I won't be able to do any cooking streams. And uh, Sunday I might not be available, so just to make sure I can get it in, I'm going to do it. She, she chose, so I can get it good in the picture. Barbecue meatballs. Thank you for the biddies, Papa. I'm probably going to make those. Meatballs and get like some hoagie buns and make them to like a meatball sub. Goddamn bitties! Goddamn bitties! Oh, my hands cramping up from mixing up that meat. The message out later. I got a message on my Facebook. Right, let's cook this up and mix this up a little bit more. Come on. I need this to get nice and brown. It's already starting to look pretty good. Turn up just a little wee bit more. I had, I had it on medium so that way I, could, I wouldn't burn the onions while I was getting things started. Alright. So I'm trying to think of cool creative things I could do on my, my stream. I was talking to Papa about it earlier. I know I did, uh, during one of my cooking streams, I did hot sauce shots for bits. Didn't go too well. Oh, it is, you know, of course it smells amazing. I'm cooking it. I'm just joking. Yeah, it smells good. But um, then I was trying to think of I did a hot pepper challenge one time, and I I had one person participate and then burn my mouth off. You're on a bus. Sorry. But say I'm on a boat. I held back. I'm on a bus. Don't you ever forget. Come on, cook faster. I'm hungry. See, I thought about that, and I felt like a lot of people do that, and I feel like that would be just kind of copying other people. I mean, people seem to like it, I guess. It wouldn't, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to do it. I know Papa did it a lot, and people loved it. I know I donated quite a few biddies to see Papa eat earwax beans or, or eat uh, spoiled milk, I think was one. Dog food, I think was one. So I thought about it, and I, and I just keep seeing them in the store. I was like, I should get some of those. But then I keep talking myself out of it, figuring I'd just be copying a bunch of other people. I think about doing a stream one time where I just start making stuff. I just start like um, like cooking some meat or something, and then I could have uh, if someone donates a hundred bits, they can choose the next ingredient to add to the dish or something out of the choices I have or something. That'd be pretty cool. It'd be like a it'd either turn out really gross or really yummy. But yeah, I could start off with some beef, cooking it up. Or I could even start off saying, okay, who wants to choose the first or the first ingredient? Mm. 
just have like meat sitting there and they could choose which one. Hi, Jay Bird. But they could choose the first ingredient and then we can go from there. But then it'll rely it'll rely on if people actually donate or not. And then I could just be sitting there staring at an empty pan for a while, or someone will donate. I put chicken in there, and next thing you know, the chicken's burnt because no one adds anything else to it. <laughs> I guess I had to put a time limit to it. Yeah, I, was, I tried to mix it up a little bit. I finally got my computer, my, my laptop, to kind of work to add in a little. I like. I wanted it like this from the start, because how people could see me and see the food at the same time. So I got this nice cheap. Uh, um, Logitech camera that works out really good. And then I got um, got I'm just using my laptop camera right here. I just need to get another camera that's good quality I can hook up instead of using the laptop camera because it's garbo. I'm trying to figure out how to hook um, maybe hook this camera up to. I think you can do it. I just don't know how to do it. Hook it up to the computer and use that too. But I don't know. Then again, I, that's also the camera I use to take pictures of the food that I'm done, so I don't know. We're going to see if money can get another Logitech camera. I mean, this, this camera's only like 30 bucks, and it's the C15, I think it is, or C10, C610 or 615 or whatever it was. And I think it's really nice. It had good reviews online, so I, so I went and got it. Look at these fancy pans I got here, Jaybird. I don't know where those came from. Yeah, I almost got the. It was one that was like ten bucks. That was a uh, Logitech like C two hundred something. And I looked online, the reviews were horrible for it, so I, I held back on that one. And then I saw this one for like thirty bucks. And I, and I was like, and I saw the reviews actually really good for it. I was like, oh, I'm gonna jump on that. I think it looks pretty nice. And I could get higher quality images, but it also might depend on um how good my computer is. This computer is not good at all. That's why I'm hoping to save up money one day and get a, a better laptop. You figure out what to make for dinner. You can always scroll through my my, my my videos on demand on here, Jaybird, and you can pick one of my recipes. Like chicken pot pie. <laughs> Yeah, chicken pot pie I made one that's really quick and easy. I have a turkey chili recipe I have on my videos. I have my chicken curry recipe. I have the wedding soup recipe I made. You should make wedding soup for me. Uh, tell you this, I, um, these pans work really good. They were, uh, they boil the water real fast and they cook things really well. I like them. I use them all the time. If I don't use them, then Hannah uses them. For those of you who didn't know, Hannah is Hannah's my uh, the goof fiance. Three ten is your main camera. Two seventy. Your dog cam. That's what I want to do when I lived in my old house. The, my ferret cage was right next to my console, and I want to get a camera and have it point towards a, my ferrets and have a ferret camera. I can't do that here because I'm not going to have the ferrets next to my food. Of course, I can't get it. I can't game. I can't link my PlayStation up to this computer because this computer is not smart enough to handle it. I'd have to wait until I get a better, better computer. But at least this works. And I can get these fancy overlays and stuff and be all spiffy. I looks like the meat is almost cooked. Off. I see some pink. Oh man! Try to be sneaky. You see that? I'm trying to be sneaky. Just trying to hide away in there. I see you. I see what? The Meat that doesn't want to cook the whole way. Get that a little bit, and then I'll be able to drain some of this. No, I have a desktop computer that um, my fiance's one friend donated to us, but that desktop is is in, isn't much better than this laptop. Like I'm able to get some stuff on there, but I can't even run Streamlabs on it because it keeps on giving me GPU issues. All right, bye, J Bird. For those of you who don't know, J Bird is my sister. She's the one who got me these pans for an early wedding present. 
plus we needed pans because our old ones got all destroyed in, the, in my house and the house caught on fire and stuff. All right, looks like it got all nice and cooked up. We're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do it the lazy way. I'm just gonna drain this juices into a drain to the trash can because I'm lazy like that. I wouldn't recommend this way. I'd recommend putting it into like a jar or something, or somewhere other than straight to the trash can. Whoopsie! <clears throat> Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Nothing to see here. This little smoke. Don't worry about it. All right. So I need to add. The garlic powder, it recommends putting in, i got to find it, half a teaspoon. I'm going to add more than that since I'm making, um, I'm just going to eyeball it, So I'm making more than a regular recipe. Actually, that's, that's more, a little bit more than a half a teaspoon. Mix that in there a little bit. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. All right, this is, I uh, add the mustard. This is about a teaspoon of yellow mustard. Once again, I'm going to add more than that, plus I love myself some mustard. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shrimp, skip myself on some mustard. Then it wants you to make to make add three four cups ketchup. Usually I would measure this kind of stuff, but today with sloppy joes I'm gonna eyeball it because why not? I'm just gonna turn the heat off. There's no reason for me to cook the crap out of this while I'm doing this. And then this is different. This is something I'm not used to doing, but I'm gonna do it. This, I found this recipe and I kind of like this idea. Is adding brown sugar to it. Usually, when I've, I've never added brown sugar to my sloppy, sloppy joes or anything before. And it recommends three table or three teaspoons. I can't even talk. Okay, I'm gonna add a lot more net because, like I said, I'm doubling everything. And plus, I'm making some brown sugar. Come on, don't mind me. Just fighting with a bag of brown sugar. Nothing to see here. That should be enough. That, that's, that's probably enough. Um, we'll find out, I guess. See, I'm missing anything. Let's see. Brown sugar, check. Ketchup, check. Mustard, check. Garlic powder, check. Gonna add some salt and pepper. I might slip in some paprika because you guys know how much I love my paprika. Let's go ahead and do that, because why not? What kind of goofed out recipe would it be if I didn't add paprika to it? Know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. Alright. I might need to add more stuff, because I don't know who's going to mix and cover everything completely. Oh, it smells fantastic, though. I'll probably add more ketchup, because I don't think I added enough ketchup in the first place. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Mm, it smells fantastic. Oh, I love the smell. They're going to be a little bit sloppy. Maybe a little bit Joe, too. A little bit sloppy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. A little more ketchup. Not enough ketchup. My right, one daughter sounds like she's being tickle tortured over there. And a little bit of everything because why not? All right, I think that's looking pretty darn good. Turn the heat back on here for a little bit. It says to let it simmer. Ooh, for 30 minutes. I don't think we need to do that long, but why not? Give me time to chit chat with y'all. Hmm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a bite of this right now, just to make sure it's safe for um, you know, for science and. Safety and, and stuff. You know what I mean? Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, fantastic.
fantastic. Oh, man. That's some good stuff, guys. Some good stuff right there. Monday, Monday. So I'm going to crank up the heat a little bit. I don't need any more of the salt or pepper. I'm going to start letting it heat up while it's heating up. I'm going to get one plate ready with a bun on it so I can plate it up a little bit later. Take my pretty little picture with it and make myself look like a fancy chef. And the TV shows, I, you know, I don't know about you, but I watch food shows all the time. That'd be a, that'd be something to get, like, get well known enough that they'll uh, drop a, drop an invite to me to play it, to go make some kind of cooking show. Like, there's one thing I watch on YouTube. I'm not sure if it's an actual show or if it's just a YouTube thing. Where someone like listens to Gordon Ramsay, like they stand back to back, and Gordon Ramsay tells them what to do with the ingredients, and they have to hurt and try to do it. And then they have to try, and they have, then at the end they turn around and they each reveal to each other their finished piece. And of course, Gordon Ramsay's always looks amazing. And then the other guy is like a or guy or girl. Their stuff looks kind of like me a lot of times. And then they have, then they try each other's food to see who's better. <laughs> I saw one where a guy did like thing with a crab, and he couldn't understand what it, I could. I wouldn't do it, be able to understand it either. But he couldn't understand what it was Gordon was saying about cracking open the crab and stuff like that. The way he was wording it, and it ended up like just messing it all up. It was crazy. Apparently, though, he had the seasonings right, because Gordon's like, "Oh, you're gonna, seasonings are real good. It just looks like a mess." You know, that'd be cool. Just saying. I tried to have Gordon Ramsay rate one of my dishes. I posted. I'm gonna have to keep. I'm gonna have to do it like once a week and keep trying until he does it. But I tagged him in the thing, asking him to rate my, rate my dish. Never got an answer, on Twitter. I think I, maybe I'll do, be a thing I'll do every week. I'll do it. I'll post a, one of the recipes from the week, either the Sunday meal or the, or the Wednesday meal, and then I'll uh, tag Gordon Ramsay and ask him to rate my dish. I must have gone through some of my old, my old recipes too and tagging them in it. Ask him to read it. That'd be a pretty cool idea, huh? Be not too bad an idea. I tried it once already with, um, I want to say it was my Eggs Benedict with Hollandaise sauce I made um, when I did my very first breakfast for lunch stream. And I thought it was probably the best looking one I. Best looking dish I had. And then I, uh. He never answered it. He never did. Did you ever see my Eggs Benedict stream? I made an Eggs Benedict with apple with apple sausage. And then I had the, I had the pictures all, like, all over Facebook and stuff, but I made the apple sausage and I, and I made that first and I put it up on the bottom and then I had the eggs benedict on top so I poached the egg and I made the hollandaise sauce everything on stream it's all on stream and it's also on YouTube so you can watch and learn how to make your own eggs benedict with hollandaise sauce and apple sausage which is the the apple sausage and, and eggs benedict recipe actually stole from Bobby Flay watching some of his videos I wrote down the recipe so I guess it's kind of silly of me to ask Gordon Ramsay to read Bobby Flay's <laughs> Place too. It was a picture of my dish. So I think it's kind of funny. Bubbles! There, I waved in case you can't. Let's get out. Blah, 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 blah. In case you can't hear me. If I'm talking too fast, let me know. I'm full of uh, energy drinks and I'm getting all hyper. What you want, folks? Oh. I just gotta let it simmer for a little bit, and then we'll be ready to eat. I put it in there. Let's go. Put it on your spatula. Look at it. Here, here, here. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. She must try the dish. I tried to do. She's trying the dish. Too much 
mustard. Not enough mustard. Whoa. <laughs> you never had too much mustard. I'm seeing my background for dinner, Jason. The goof wife has spoken. Bubbles is highest in the goof wife. She doesn't have bubbles. She loves her brown sugar. She has brown sugar like everything. Soups, sandwiches, everything. She has it to everything. Yeah, it's all the brown sugar I'm adding. She can deal with it. She started scaring me there a second. She wasn't saying anything. She's kind of eating like something. Then sick, but like I said, you can never have too much mustard, so just jot that down. Yeah, that I do. Okay, ladies, bubble, bubble, totally in trouble. Let's simmer for a while. It says a half an hour, but I ain't got time for that. I'm gonna simmer it down for. I'll do it to see. It's eight. I don't know what time I started. Um. I was good to another another ten minutes. I'll go with that. I think it sounds like Plan Man. It's like another pepper I could throw in there if I wanted to. Look how big these things are. I guess my hand's tiny, so don't get. I don't think I have these ginormous hands. But look look how big that is. Like that's a big pepper. Try it here. Here's a here's a little teaspoon. For comparison, look at that. Oh, look how big that is. I like I like big big vegetables. I hear my one daughter giggling over there, so if she's giggling at me or if she's giggling because she's a weirdo. I'm a bloody goof. Bloody goof. Tea and crumpets. There's nothing wrong with a midnight snack, okay? You've earned it. You put up a J every day, you've earned that snack. I'm saying that in hopes that J hears me. I'm like, what? And I could drop the ban hammer on him. Ban the J dog. Oh, we start the job tomorrow! I'm so happy for you. Are you excited? Or nervous? Or excited and nervous? Or nervously excited? This is really bubbling up. Look at that. Coffee! Well, this is... Pina Colada flavored Bang energy drink. There, Bang, you just got a free advertisement from me. Not to do any good. This is uh, it's a uh, yeah, Pina Colada flavored, zero sugar, zero everything, but not zero taste. Actually, should have, but not zero taste. <laughs> I had my coffee this morning, though. Which I found out, adding that light cream to it tastes a heck of a lot better than adding milk to it. So I'm going to start adding that light cream to it until I run out of that light cream that I used, uh, it was it used on Sunday. It's coffee time. Ooh, it's coffee time. Coffee, coffee time. It's taking forever. Simmer faster. Kind of got more bo boiling than simmering, but it's whatevs. I didn't dump enough of the grease out because I can see the grease on the top. Why? Just so I could bring you food all the time and be on your schedule instead of being on my schedule? Hey, well, you found me a high enough paying job. How about I just come live with you and Jay, and you guys can pay me to be your chef? That's a win-win.
you can tell everyone, I got one of them fancy American chefs. <laughs> I'm so fancy. And tut tut. Tea and crumpets and all that. Cheers. Just like that. You have a monocle, and wear a, put a monocle in your eye, and talk about how rich you are because you're your own personal chef. Are you upset, Papa? Why do you say that? I have a foot. My foot keeps cramping up. Papa was in the stream here earlier. I think he's working, or he's just tired of watching me cook food. <laughs> he wasn't talk he talked a little bit, then he disappeared for a little bit, then he came back and talked for a little bit. I think he's working. He must be working or he's busy doing other stuff. I'm gonna try some more after I got that brown sugar in there. You know, for for science reasons. Make sure that my I didn't upset the chemical balance of the stuff with the thing. Why can't you hear me, Bubbles? Mm. Someone out there can hear me. So even if Bubbles can't hear me, someone can hear me. That's all that matters. Why not be someone who's in there right now? Could be someone who comes in right now. Or right now. You know. <laughs> the Popper Matrix. <laughs> oh no! Nightbot got hungry. He is now sentient. Jenna said she's gonna come over for some sloppy joes. So I can type without breaking anything. Ah, the thing's so slow. Oh no, I'm trying to type. <laughs> How dare you mute me! <laughs> See, I asked the same question, but I didn't realize Bubbles couldn't hear me. So I'm glad she answered you, Jenna. I asked if she was nervous or excited, or excited to be nervous or nervous or excited. Oh. Well, I never. Alright, I'm going to bring up my stream on my phone so I can see it. I can now see things. You got this, Bubbles. I forgot she can't hear me. She can't hear me complimenting her and telling her that she got this. Your mic is muted. Oh, you're streaming too, Jenna. <laughs> so I was thinking about doing a video well you probably saw it on Twitter I was thinking about doing the videos for YouTube have like a just a short video about different Halloween related treats for the kiddos like I'm going to do like mummy hot dogs and stuff like that but it's something I wouldn't want to do it Deadpool! 
Look at Deadpool showing up, showing maximum effort. Boomers. Yeah, be sure to check out Generator. Ready? Getting that Deadpool action. Deadpool action. My foot's cramping up. Why is my foot cramping up? Don't let stop. And the maximum. You know, I've, you know what I've been craving? I've been craving some Tasty Tuesday streams. I've been missing on your all your role playing streams, buddy. I don't I like never see you on anymore. Ooh, spicy time. Yeah. Who, what's with the head what with the headphones? I don't know why I don't see your notifications come up. Like I might not have the notification turned on, on Twitch, but I know I keep an eye out for your posts on Twitter all the time. I've been slowly going through my notifications on Twitch because when I first started stream streaming, anyone who I followed, I went and put uh, I went and put a little notification thing on so that way I see when they came online, and that was a huge mistake because I have like hundreds of people's things popping up constantly. So every time one pops up that I don't want to see anymore, I hurry up and hop back and turn off the notifications. Like I don't watch you, or I don't watch this person enough. There's some people that I, I had notifications on for that I did watch. I don't watch anymore because they like barely ever stream or they stop streaming altogether. Uh, who wants to see me plate this thing? I'm tired of waiting for it. I think I want to see me plate this thing. Who wants a muffin? Well, so, like, I have a few people now. Like, there's still some that I'm weeding them out as they pop up. But there's some people like Papa will keep his notifications on. I had notifications when J Dog goes online. Um, I thought I had, I thought I might have had Dad Dadpool, but I guess not. I know I watch out for it on Twitch or on Twitter. I mean, I'm trying to think of who else. Oh, Smexy when Smexy goes on, I, I I watch her stuff. There's a few other people that I keep an eye out for. One streamer that I like to watch that I don't really watch that much anymore, but I need to, is Behaving Beardly. And I have his notifications on. Just keep you have to tell me streams I'm like at work or something. Let me go ahead and turn this off. Let me go ahead and spoon this yumminess out. Look at that. Look at it. Doesn't it look amaze balls. It's really messy though. It's a little bit sloppy. I'm going to take a picture of that. I'll let the, the drippings on the side be part of the artistry of the whole thing. Let me get my internet photos ready here. Yeah, oh yeah, work it. Work it. Yeah, it's a little bit sloppy. Not a lot of Joe going on there. There's a lot of sloppiness going on there. Poor, poor Joe, man. Like everyone names everything after him. You got Sloppy Joe's, Cup of Joe, Trader Joe. Some some other things I'm sure they named Joe. No surprise, Slim Jim's didn't name themselves Slim Joe's. Not me. And this. I won't be streaming Sunday. Some of you who were here at the beginning knew that. Um, I'm not streaming Sunday because I'll be either at work or on the road somewhere. Um, and Saturday is my my youngest daughter's birthday, so I will I will not be streaming Saturday either. But I let her choose the recipe for for me to make next. I'll make it Friday, and she chose barbecue meatballs that have like some really good flavor to them. It looks like I haven't tried them yet. 
and I think I might put them in a hoagie bun, like a meatball sub or something. Or give the kids an option if they want to eat it with or without bun. So look, I made one of the classic dishes that I know I grew up eating a lot of. This one's a little bit different than the one I grew up eating, but same idea. Um, so you got this nice, yummy, sloppy Joe's. I know when I bite into this and it makes a mess everywhere, it's like I'm going to reminisce about the good old days as a kid. Now I've had sloppy Joe's on the ship when I was in the Navy that it was, I guess you can call them sloppy Joe's. You know, I had sloppy Joe's at school, which weren't bad when I was in high school. But I haven't had a nice, like, straight-up home-cooked sloppy Joe in a long time. I make my kids sloppy tofu once in a while, which is the same premise. I'll, like, I'll throw the green peppers in there. But pretty much it's the Indian brown sugar and the one the sloppy tofu I make. But, um, the same idea. If you decide to make, use this recipe using, um, tofu, if you don't want to, uh, use beef or if you're a vegan or whatever, or, I guess, vegetarian or whatever, um, you can throw tofu in there, just cut it up, to make sure you squish out all the fluids first and let it drain for a while, and then cut up into little tiny cubes and throw it in there, and then cook it just enough to it starts burning.